Hello, my name is Dr. Bryson, and I am your instructor for the Introduction to Criminal Justice class. This video might be used for other classes as well, so if you're in a different class and watching this video, don't be alarmed. First, I want you to do something for me. I want you to do what it says on the screen. So I want you to pause watching this video for a minute and do something spontaneous. So pause your video and do it. Okay, now you've unpaused. Some of you didn't do it. Some of you just thought, ah, this is dumb. You didn't uh, follow my instructions. Others of you did it. Some of you might have made a funny face. Some of you might have gotten up and did a dance. Some of you might have done something very similar, like um, tapped your fingers or but you, some of you actually did something, not all of you, some of you did. For those of you who did, and those of you who didn't, none of you followed my instructions and I'm certain of it. I am 100% certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know you did not follow my instructions. How do I know that? Because I told you to do it. And spontaneity is that it, by its very nature is something that you cannot do by being told. We call this the be spontaneous paradox. Think about um, a situation. Let's say there's a man, he gets married, um, nerdy guy, and he gets married and um, his wife thinks he's going to make a whole lot of money and he's just going to be, you know, really rich. He's going to be this, this really macho dude. And he ends up being pretty passive and, and makes a living, but they're not rich. So she says to him, I was a fool to marry you. I thought I could make you a real man. Okay. Now, she says this, he's sitting there just passively listening to what she says. Now, believe it or not, in um, an old sci uh, psychology treatise from the very early 1970s, in fact, it's a classic work, the name of the book is Change, Principles of Problem Formation and Problem Resolution, this cartoon appears to illustrate this very dynamic. He paradoxically cannot do what she wants him to do. His refusal to be the way she wants him to be is being masculine enough to stand up to her and not do what she tells him to do. It's that be spontaneous paradox. Now, why do I share this? Because this is a criminal justice class. A few of you are taking this as an elective. Some of you are taking this as a minor. Most of you are taking this because it's required of your major. When you become criminal justice professionals, Try to remember this lesson, okay? Because it's very important to understand sometimes we give folks instructions and we don't realize we're putting them in a paradox or what we call a double bind where they're damned if they do and damned if they don't. Let's move on to another issue, okay? This is called the nine dot problem. Now your instructions are, you're going to connect all nine dots with four straight lines without lifting your pencil off the page. Okay, so um, let me scroll down so you can see how to draw the non, nine dots on your page. So draw nine dots like this on a page. You might need to pause the computer or pause the video, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and then um, put nine dots in this kind of formation on the page. They don't have to be really thick dots like this, like this, you just need to be able to see the dots. Okay, so go ahead and pause your computer and try this. Take as long as you need before you come back. Okay, you see the instructions. I don't know how long everybody's paused it. Most people probably did not pause for very long. I'm gonna tell you, I firmly believe some of you did not do it at all. In fact, you fast forwarded to see what the solution would be. So let's go back to the dots. Now remember, you're supposed to connect all nine with four straight lines and not lift your pencil off the page. 
four straight lines without lifting your pencil off the page. Are you all ready for the solution? Here it is. Most of you, when you put those dots on the page, you saw that this was a box. And you, you just assumed without realizing you were assuming. It was literally below your conscious awareness that you could not draw the lines outside the parameters of the outside nine dots. Or I'm sorry, the outside eight dots, because there are eight on the, um, on the outside and then there's one in the middle. Most of you just saw those eight dots on the outside as the boundaries and you couldn't go outside of those boundaries. But that was not in the instructions, was it? We didn't put that in the instructions. With the nine dot problem, what this does is it teaches us to look for what in our minds are unconventional solutions. And that's what this nine dot problem does. So when you become a professional, whatever your profession is, most of you will be um, criminal justice. Some of you might be social science fields like psychology. Um, or some of you might be teachers, and this is a minor that you're taking, or you're taking this as an elective just because you're interested. But when you're out in the world, always remember that solutions sometimes are right in front of us, but we've put a barrier in front of our face so we can't see them. Now, Daniel Kahneman has written a book called Noise, and this book is all about how we have so much thrown at us that is coming from a position of complete lack of, of logical, uh, analytical uh, thinking, that it's hard for us to, to, to step back and actually look at the real solutions. There are so many people that believe things that are illogical, just flat wrong, don't hold up to analysis of their logic because of the noise. Well, noise also affects this. Learning to sift through that and, and turn off the noise and really focus on a logical examination and totally look at the instructions and pay attention to what's not there just as much as what is there will help you, it will serve you. I'm gonna stop the screen share. So it was, uh, um, I hope that this exercise was baffling, interesting, and enlightening. As we go through this class and look at various criminal justice topics, keep these lessons in mind. We'll see you in our next video.